Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have for you this really pretty blue with a bit of glitter look. Now it's going to be a really random uh, inspirational <laughs> draw from, but I got this really awesome top of the Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So I've decided to create a look for each individual turtle. This is Leonardo because he is blue. Let me show you this awesome top. Ready? <coughs> do you need do? Don't know if I'm going to be able to fit it in. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's Leonardo, my man. So next I'll do Raphael, which is the red one. But if you want to learn how I got this blue look, please continue watching. First things first, as usual, I'll be starting off with Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC as my base for all of my eyeshadows. I literally use this all the time. I, it's my favourite, so I'm going to keep on using it forever and ever. First eyeshadow I'm going to be taking is Wedge by MAC and it's a nice cool toned brown and we're going to use this as our transition colour between our skin and the blue. I'm going to take a nice big fluffy brush for this. And although this is a brown it's going to add a bit of warmth but it's still a pretty cool colour. Next for our main feature of this look we'll be taking Electric Eel again by MAC and it's this really cool bright electric blue. And I'm going to take a slightly more denser fluffy a brush and really work this into my crease and make sure it's really nicely blended. Now although the soft ochre paintball is great for any eyeshadow colours, I just feel like it wasn't making the eyeshadows as bright as I wanted them to, therefore I took NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk and applied that all over my eye. If you're going to do this look, make sure you put a white base before you start putting any eyeshadows down, just because it's going to make them pop even more. You'll definitely start to see the difference when you when I go back in with the electric eel now. Can you see how much more brighter that is? It's crazy. And I'm just going to keep working in that blue and really build it up as I want. Don't forget to apply it to your outer corner as well as your crease. Next we're going to go in with the Purple Times 9 palette. I'm going to take this really dark purple which I believe is the colour Bon New or something similar to that, I can't really pronounce it. And on the same fluffy brush, I'm going to be working this onto my outer corner and slightly in the crease. This is going to add depth to the look. The reason I use this slightly purpley colour, which looks really blue once it's put against Electric Eel, is because I don't have like a deep uh, blue colour. So I use this instead to create the same effect. And it worked perfectly. Next, I'm going to go in the Naked 2 palette and take this really nice silvery white colour called Verve. This palette is by Urban Decay and I'm taking a nice flat dense brush and popping that on the remaining part of my lid. I wanted to add silver because it goes really nice with blue. Don't forget to apply some under your eye, on the inner third of your eye. And then I'm going to go in with that jumbo pencil and milk and apply it to my outer corner where I'm going to now apply blue. Because we want to make sure it's popping. Basically what we do to the top of eye, we're doing to the bottom. There you go, there's the darker purple colour, Bonute. Really close to the lash line, keeping it more towards the outer corner. Bam. That depth though. Next we're going to line our waterline with Squid Modern Twist Gel Liner. These are nice and waterproof. I'm going to black out my waterline. Set this with the black eyeshadow also. And smoke it out. Now for the fun glitter part, I'm literally going to take um, eyelash glue. One of these little cute portable ones. I'm going to pack on the glue and then take a nice blue glitter. This is a non branded glitter, so do not ask me what it is. I probably shouldn't even use it on my eyes because it came with the acrylic nail sets. But shh, don't tell anyone if my eyes get scratched out, it's their own fault, okay? Use eye safe glitter, it's a lot safer. Anything for beauty, right? <laughs> I'm just literally going to create a liner for this. And I use a brush I don't really care about to put on the glitter because it will get slightly wrecked from the eyelash glue. But you can most likely peel it off, to be honest, it's not that bad. Next I'm taking the Collection 2000 Liquid Liner which is my favourite all time liner ever and I'll never change it. I'm going to take a little angle brush and go really close to my lashes and really close to the underneath of that line keeping it thin so the majority of the liner is with glitter. Who wants to cover up glitter? Glitter is amazing. I love glitter. So the mascaras I'm going to be using is the Full Slash Maximizer which is kind of like a primer and it builds up your lashes first. It's really really good and then the In Extreme Dimension Waterproof. This stuff is so hard to get off, but it makes your lashes like really thick and crazy. And I kind of like how the packaging has blue on it, which matches the look. You can just wear it round, carry it round with you as an accessory, of course. Build up those lashes, girl. And I didn't want to put fake eyelashes on because I didn't want it to cover up the glitter. The glitter needs to be seen. 
it's beautiful. And I actually forgot to highlight my eyes and I'm just taking vanilla pigment and doing that to my inner corner and my brow bone. And there you go, there's your look. I really hope you enjoyed this video today and found it inspiring and enjoyed the blueness of it. I just imagine I did pair this with stone lipstick just because I like the coolness of the tones. If you didn't like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!